If you own a Mac Mini M4, there's a tiny upgrade that I think could change your workflow in a really good way. This is the Oracle Mini Mate, a two terabyte, 40 gigabit a second external SSD. It sits right on top of your Mac like it was always meant to be there. What's up, my name's Royce and welcome to my channel where I talk about all things film and tech. And today I have the Oracle Mini Mate external SSD. Now, Oracle was nice enough to send me one to review, but rest assured all my thoughts and opinions are my own. They have no say in what I say. And I only partner with brands and products that I actually like and would use in my workflow anyway. So the fact that this video is up means I like it. And I think you will too. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the Mini Mate outside of its box. And listen, we've been over this so many times. Ways to expand the uh, Mac Mini SSD. Yes, you can buy more storage from Apple. We all know it's ridiculous, right? So I'm always looking for new ways to expand my uh, storage of my Mac Mini without completely breaking the bank for myself but also for you because I know it's a big help. So I've been really excited about this one, mainly because how it looks like it looks like it was meant to be part of the Mac mini. Now we have seen designs like these before for the older generation Mac minis, but it's nice to know that companies are continuing that tradition with the new form factor of the M4. Even at the bottom right here has mini mate kind of spelled out the same way Apple would do their products. And really all we see is a USB-C port and a vent here in the back. Other than that, we have the front, we see Oracle up there, like I said, the naming at the bottom, and that's about it. So yeah, overall the design is just a flattened Mac Mini. And in the box, it comes with two USB-C cables, one shorter for when you wanna place this on top of the Mac Mini. You don't need that much length there. And this longer cable, if you wanna have this off to the side, or if you wanna use this with a completely different device other than your Mac Mini, it could still be used as a regular SSD. I actually like the threaded design of the cable too. I think that's a nice touch. Now Oracle said they also have a 512 gigabyte, a terabyte, this two terabyte and then a four terabyte option as well. But today I'll just be talking about the two terabyte variant. Now, one of the first things I like to do whenever I get an SSD is just plug it up into my computer and actually test the speeds. Now this is a 40 gigabit a second device, which means it gets about a theoretical amount of 5,000 megabytes a second of transfer speeds. But you know, we know in the real world that we're not actually going to get that most of the time. And even right here, Oracle says that what you can really expect to get is around 3,800 megabytes a second, which is still really fast. So I'm gonna plug it up and see what I can get on my end. All right, so I got my Oracle drive plugged in. Now let's open up the Black Magic Disk Speed Test app. If you're not familiar with this app, it's just a really nice and free way to test the speed of your drives, more specifically for Black Magic if you're using DaVinci Resolve. You can see all the codecs resolutions that will work within DaVinci, but even if you're not using DaVinci, it does give you a good idea of the speed of your drives and the type of media that would be compatible. And now with our drive selected, I will hit start. Okay, so it looks like for both write and speed, we're capping out at about 2,900, almost 3,000 megabytes a second. And that's the thing, a lot of different variations can come into play that will affect the speed of your drive. I haven't formatted the drive or anything, so there's other things I can do that could potentially help boost the speed. But if you come down here, even though we're not getting the higher speed that is mentioned by Oracle on the box, you can see as far as codex resolutions go, we're good. So it's still fast enough to do what we needed to do all the way up to 12K DCI 60, Blackmagic RAW, ProRes, 422 HQ, H.265. Well, you know, that's always going to be good. So don't really have to worry about that too much. But yeah, we're in the green everywhere. So either way, you're probably going to be good with the type of media that you're editing with. What I also did was I reformatted my Oracle drive to APFS, which is Apple's default file system. Then I redid the speed test. And when I did that, I actually saw an improvement on the write speed to around 3,400, almost 3,500 megabytes a second, which is closer to that promised 3,800 megabytes a second. However, the read speed that stayed around 2,900 megabytes a second. Now, first and foremost, the use case that I see outside of a studio or office situation is I travel a lot with my Mac Mini M4. If you've seen my past videos, I actually have Mac Mini M4 kind of portable setups that I go over and I use different SSDs that I have to plug in or different um, actual enclosures or cases for the Mac Mini M4, some that may have built-in SSDs or others where you know I still got to plug in an external one. So with the Oracle Mini Mate, Yes, it's still an external SSD, but the way it's designed and can sit on top of the Mac Mini M4, it kind of all feels like it's one package. So I definitely could see that coming into play really well for my travel use cases. And yes, it's designed for the Mac Mini M4, but can you use it with your MacBook Pro or iMac or whatever other Apple device, of course. Can you use it with a Windows computer? And then you can format it however you want. It's just this is the design uh, that was specifically for the M4 that they, that they 
went with. But you can use this SSD just like any other SSD. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I like the design aspect of it, um, how it's kind of meant to be combined with the Mac Mini M4 specifically. I think it's fast enough for a lot of my use cases and the media that I'm working with most of the time, especially for YouTube. I would say the color scheme matches pretty well, although looking at it uh, from a different perspective, I feel like the tint is a little bit off, which is fine. I'm not a big stickler for that type of stuff, but I just noticed um, just looking at it, the way the light's hitting it right now, the shade is maybe a half a shade darker than the Mac Mini M4. So you're not getting like the perfect, you know, one-to-one -one look. I don't care. But for those who do just kind of know that as well. And for those who may be wondering, having the Orco set on top of the Mac Mini, if that will affect uh, your Wi-Fi signal or speed in any way, I haven't noticed any significant difference in speed or strength of my Wi-Fi signal. It's still got full bars where I'm at in my studio. And yeah, the internet's chugging along, did some speed tests. They're all about the same speeds as they usually are. So from what I'm seeing, there's no difference at all in signal strength for Wi-Fi. Now let's talk about price. The Orco Mini Mate external SSD is $199 for the two terabyte option. And that will go down if you want the 512 or the one terabyte or go up if you want the four terabyte option. But the two terabyte option is looking like is the sweet spot for what most of us would want. I don't even have to tell you how crazy it is in comparison if you bought uh, more storage from Apple themselves. I think two terabytes was like an additional $800. And even if you buy, say, uh, an SSD or, uh, you know, NVMe drive, and then you get like an SSD enclosure, um, you're still going to come around the same price, maybe a little bit more expensive or maybe a little bit less. But again, I think the whole purpose of this is where it sits in the price point. It's pretty nice. And you're getting that specific design for the Mac Mini M4. So this is a very specific use case for people who have Mac Mini M4s. So if you don't have one, I'm sure there's another SSD you can find that's a little bit cheaper, um, either same speed or even if it's a little bit slower, that's fine, you don't really need it. But if you are an M4 user, I definitely think this is something interesting and you should look at. And if you are interested in learning a little bit more about it or purchasing, you can use the Amazon link that I provided in the description and use the promo code I have down there for 10% off so you can get it a little bit cheaper than that $199. <laughs> but yeah, in all honesty, I, I like it. I think it's actually really cool. You know, this actually could work as well if you combine some of the other uh, hubs that I have for the Mac Mini M4 and still use this incorporating it. You can kind of get like an interesting stack of Mac Mini M4 accessories. I might do a video on that actually, just combining all of the different Mac Mini M4 stuff that I've gotten and have tested um, over the last few months and just see how that goes. But yeah, it, the Mac Mini M4 ecosystem is really interesting. It's really cool, honestly. I love to see it. It's always been cool. A lot of these companies, they put a lot of uh, dedication into the products that they make and Oracle is no exception. And if you have a Mac Mini M4, I definitely think it's worth checking out. But that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If so, please like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And yeah, until next time, I'll catch y'all later.